we've all met those type of people. You know the ones who have an imagination that exceeds any of ours and can create most amazing thing with no thought at all. Yeah, those people who can take a piece of paper and make a beautiful picture or maybe can see a blank canvas and put their imagination to work. I envy those type of people. It seems when I try to be creative, it just turns into a horrible disaster. There's a duo made up of a father and son that can prove their knowledge, creativity, and design can create one-of-a-kind treasures, and to top it off, the pair's made a career out of it, grossing more than $160,000 a year. These supplies, just some scrap metal and creative inspiration. Hey there, I'm Scott Leffler from Why and How, and here is Dad and Son make over $160,000 a year building incredible transformers from scrap metal. Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for daily amazing videos. The father-son team is from southeastern China. They work together to create ginormous transformers out of used scrap metal. Yu Jialin, who is a farmer but has a background in fine arts, decided to start creating robot statues from spare car parts during his free time. His son, Lu Yingyan, decided to join in on the fun and together they create life-size transformers. They're best known for their enormous Optimus Prime and Bumblebee creations. The latest Transformers film is the highest grossing film in China history, so needless to say, these Transformers are a huge hit. When they first started, it definitely was not an easy chore. It took them three years to complete their first Transformer. Now they define themselves as pros. They're super excited for the next Transformer movie, hoping it just increases their sales. But for now, they're excited about making 1 million RBM a year. That's equivalent to about 160,000 US dollars. I think this would be a fun hobby to continue on between the duo. Transformers is increasing in popularity for people of all ages. But who buys a Dynamis Transformer? They're actually often used to display at malls, exhibits, and fairs throughout China. But let's be honest. Why not get one of these bad boys and proudly display it in your front yard? I think it would keep the solicitors away.